So, the videos you're about to see actually happened last December. Um, <clears throat> I decided to not put them in for a while and, and move ahead with the rest of the series, but I'm kind of realizing that those videos are important in the story of the garage. So, <clears throat> what you're about to see is my building a temporary heating system for the garage, and then uh, it subsequently failing, unfortunately. Um, what happened was, it was way too cold the day that I filled it. It was about, uh, I think it was minus 10, and it had been cold for weeks before that, and I filled the system with water, stupidly. Now, it was 180 degree water. I mean, I was, I, I knew it needed to be warm, but I underestimated just how cold the floors were. So, as soon as I put the water in the floor, uh, on this outside edge, it froze solid, and I couldn't get the water through anymore. And it subsequently burst the pipe in one of the zones. The other three zones that I ran water through, it managed to be okay. So, it was a stupid mistake. Um, but honestly, I don't really feel like this outside edge and the bottom section of this garage is really that important. I'm not going to be working on the floor down here. Um, and half of the half of the zone still works so that's what these videos are I figured I'd put them in here's some backstory okay so what we're gonna do here is mount our manifold I bought a manifold this time it looks like that because it has flow adjusters so I can adjust the flow of every circuit connected to it so I've got the lines over there for my main garage floor which I'm going to run around the corner over here. I've got these lines here which heat this bottom floor and I'm going to run those up and connect them here all into that same manifold. So it's a bore port manifold which means I can have two circuits. I have two circuits here and two circuits down here. So it'll be four circuits and I can balance the flow. I'm going to take the hot water from the house which comes through these here and put it directly into this manifold just for this year <clears throat> so I can get some heat in the just the concrete just getting that concrete warm and keeping it warm will keep the frost out of everything so um, that's the goal for this year and then later on I'll run my <clears throat> I've got four pipes here two supply two return so there's two circuits for that wood floor here and then upstairs I've got one two three four more circuits so I'll hook those up next year. So, uh, that's all I'm going to do. So we'll see how it goes. So this is installing the header. Uh, the lines that I'm installing now come from the upper slab, which is where I park my vehicles. And the lines on the left, which I'm about to install, is basically the lower section where the snowmobiles are and lawnmowers and stuff. Um, as I said in my intro video, I lost one of these zones, and I don't think I illustrated just how frustrating and devastating it was. Um, you know, these PEX pipes are stapled down to styrofoam, which basically puts them in contact with the styrofoam, and in a lot of cases, the concrete probably never gets around the PEX enough to protect it from freezing. And so I think where my garage door openings were, that concrete was super, super cold, and the pecs just stuck below the concrete a little bit and it burst in those spots so ah you'll learn okay so i got it installed 